Imagine a cube six miles across, deep and high. That's the sheer volume of lava expelled during Yellowstone's past cataclysmic eruptions. Nestled in the heart of America, Yellowstone National Park has long been a symbol of Earth's untamed beauty, captivating millions with its breathtaking landscapes and geothermal marvels. But now, for the first time in over three decades, this iconic park has been sealed off from the public. Where will Yellowstone's volcano erupt next? Experts weigh. In Yellowstone National Park is home to one of the world's most famous and closely monitored volcanic systems, the Yellowstone Caldera. This supervolcano covers a 30 by 45 mile stretch and has captivated scientists and the public alike for generations. In recent years, one question has become increasingly pressing. When and where will this massive volcano blow its top next? As the phasing of this question suggests, it is indeed a matter of when, not if this volcano will erupt again, and it is in all of our best interest to be in the know when it does. Recent research and monitoring efforts are shedding light on potential activity zones and the risks they may pose. Yellowstone's Volcanic Hotspots The caldera's volatile history includes three massive eruptions in the last 2.1 million years. Scientists from the United States Geological Survey, USGS, have pinpointed several zones of interest where future volcanic activity could occur utilizing magnetotelluric measurements. These measurements, which show conductivity in molten rock under Earth's crust, can help scientists estimate the amount of volcanic activity and potential there is for the caldera to erupt. The United States Geological Survey, USGS, have identified significant pockets of partially melted rhyolite magma beneath the northeastern section of the park. These findings suggest that when an eruption does occur, it is likely to breach the surface in area. The abrupt closure has left the world questioning what could have triggered such an extreme measure. Renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson recently shocked the world with his statements, suggesting that what's happening beneath Yellowstone is far more profound than a mere park closure. Could the fate of our planet truly hang in the balance? Yellowstone, a geological marvel, spanning over 2.2 million acres across Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, Yellowstone is home to a vibrant array of geothermal features, including more than 10,000 geysers, hot springs, and mud pots. The famous Old Faithful Geyser stands as a testament to nature's incredible power regularly erupting with scalding water and steam. Yet, beneath the serene beauty lies a lurking menace, the Yellowstone supervolcano. Classified as a caldera, this massive volcanic crater was formed by the collapse of a volcano after a series of gargantuan eruptions, the last of which occurred 640,000 years ago. Today, its remnants remain active, with small earthquakes, geothermal heat, and sporadic geyser eruptions serving as constant reminders of the volcano's potential. Astute research has revealed that magma is shifting underground in the northeast part of Yellowstone, the last evidence of volcanic activity 160,000 years ago. This finding, demonstrated by YVO research, indicates that certain aspects of the supervolcano behavior are shifting. Large magma reservoirs suggest that the whole volcanic system is still active with continuous construction and modification. Modern equipment is being used by scientists to monitor activity in this region of Yellowstone. Tremor and vertical motion measurements are very important to register variations in volcanic seismicity. More than 2,300 earthquakes were reported in the region in 2023, with the most significant measure at 4.0 in West Yellowstone, Montana. The information on the nature and structure of the hydrothermal system is most often obtained from the geochemical analyses of the gases emitted at the fumaroles and thermal measurements. The comprehensive description of Yellowstone volcanic activity starts from the three significant eruptions of the past 2.1 million years, with the last eruption occurring 640,000 years ago. They also led to the formation of the present caldera which characterizes the physical features of the Yellowstone National Park. 
While such large-scale eruptions are comparatively infrequent, other volcanian activities, especially lava and hydrothermal explosions, are much more frequent. The events of the last bacterial layer date back to when Yellowstone National Park was 70,000 years old, and the features of hydrothermal activity argue that Yellowstone National Park is still an active volcano. They remain closely watched to capture any meaningful shift in the supervolcano's activity as the landscape supports this historic past. Magma movement's implications? What if Yellowstone's behavior started changing radically? A magma shift northeast from Yellowstone would likely have certain outcomes. It could also change pressure in other areas of the volcanic system, possibly awakening other dormant areas. While specialists point out that there's no sign that the volcano could erupt soon, geological data suggests the system is indeed changing in ways still unknown. This is shown by the recent earthquakes in the park. Two were recorded in the first week of January 2024 with a magnitude of 3.1 and 2.5, respectively. While these events are not unusual, they are part of a pattern that scientists carefully analyze to anticipate any more significant changes in the supervolcano's behavior. Drilling has been proposed as a method to save Yellowstone from blowing up earlier. However, a research geophysicist and scientist in charge of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, Michael Poland, has said that drilling into Yorkshire to release pressure is not feasible. These magma chambers are not just storehouses of expanding liquid magma that can be quantitatively tapped, as in overinflated balloons. The Geothermal Dilemma Why drilling for power is a legal and environmental problem? According to the Act of Congress, geothermal power generation is prohibited, even though it is applied in many areas worldwide. The geothermal steam of 1970 made it mandatory for the Department of Interior to protect and manage the hydrothermal features in the National Park Service units. Exploring geothermal energy in Yellowstone may harm these special features of geology and history. Yellowstone's latest movement of magma brings the level of one of the most complex and dangerous volcanic systems in the world to another level. For the new segment, one emerges with other development and risk evaluation candidates, requiring more detailed models. The consequences of the Yellowstone eruption that could possibly occur in the future are catastrophic. Even though their occurrence is not expected for a long time, climate and ecosystems will be affected. The best things that could be done to combat the future volcanic unpredictability of Yellowstone is to remain watchful and to carry out further studies. In providing effective and efficient solutions used in analyzing the heterogeneity of the magma system, people and the government enhance their capacity to control risks accorded to this powerful natural agent. Unveiling Yellowstone Secrets The dimensions of Yellowstone's supervolcano are staggering, with its caldera spanning 45 miles. Scientists have identified it as one of the most monitored volcanic systems in the world, employing advanced technologies to study its behavior. Seismic Monitoring Networks of seismometers record thousands of small earthquakes each year, providing insights into the movement of magma deep below the surface. GPS systems High-precision instruments track subtle shifts in the Earth's crust, helping scientists identify potential volcanic activity. Gas emission analysis. Stations measure volcanic gases like sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide, which offer critical clues about magma movement. These efforts are vital in understanding Yellowstone's complex dynamics and providing early warnings of potential eruptions. The Super Volcano Threat. During a recent episode of the Star Talk podcast, Tyson and volcanologist Janine Krippner discussed Yellowstone's unique characteristics. They described a supervolcano as one capable of producing eruptions so immense they are classified as VEI-8 on the Volcanic Explosivity Index, VEI, the highest level on the scale. Such eruptions release unfathomable volumes of magma and ash, reshaping the planet's surface and impacting global climate. Tyson's remarks underscored the gravity of the situation. Yellowstone isn't just a park, he noted. It's a ticking time bomb. 
And when it goes off, the consequences won't be limited to the United States. They'll be felt worldwide. The ominous signs. Recent data suggests increased seismic activity in the Yellowstone region, coupled with rising gas emissions and subtle ground deformations. While these signs don't guarantee an imminent eruption, they highlight the importance of continuous monitoring. Experts warn that even a smaller eruption from Yellowstone could have devastating effects, including widespread ashfall, disruption of air travel, and severe climate consequences. Renowned astrophysicist Neil deGrasse Tyson has sparked global conversation with his comments on the potential eruption of the Yellowstone supervolcano. Partnering with geologist Janine Kreiner, Tyson explored the mechanics, risks, and potential global impacts of what could become one of Earth's most devastating natural disasters. The discussion brought attention to the Volcanic Explosivity Index, a scale measuring eruption intensity from 0 to 8. While lower-level eruptions, VEI 0 to 2, are localized and relatively harmless, levels 6 to 8 represent catastrophic events capable of altering climates and reshaping continents. Yellowstone's hidden danger scientists emphasize that a critical factor in triggering a super eruption is the gradual accumulation of magma beneath the Earth's surface. Research suggests that Yellowstone already harbors over half the liquid magma needed to reach the eruption threshold, raising concerns about how close we may be to a significant event. Super eruptions eject colossal volumes of ash into the stratosphere, potentially reaching heights of 80 miles. These ash clouds interact with atmospheric systems, scattering sunlight, and causing a phenomenon known as volcanic winter. The resulting global cooling could disrupt agriculture, ecosystems, and economies for years. Tyson and Kreiner highlighted historical evidence, such as the 1815 Mount Tambor eruption, which caused the year without a summer. The ash cloud led to crop failures, food shortages, and societal unrest across the Northern Hemisphere, a stark reminder of what could occur on a much larger scale if Yellowstone erupted. Impacts Beyond Imagination The eruption of Yellowstone would have far-reaching consequences. Volcanic ash can severely damage aircraft engines, posing risks to air travel. It can also contaminate water supplies, disrupt infrastructure, and devastate agriculture. The combination of these factors would strain resources and create global challenges. The potential for such an event underscores the importance of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, YVO, a collaborative effort by the U.S. Geological Survey, the University of Utah, and the National Park Service. Using advanced monitoring techniques, including satellite imagery and thermal analysis, YVO tracks ground deformation, magma movement, and other indicators of volcanic unrest. Separating fact from fiction. While the media often exaggerates the risks of a Yellowstone eruption, Tyson and Kreiner caution against undue panic. The gradual buildup of magma and the complex nature of super eruptions mean that such events are rare and occur over extended periods. Additionally, the scientific community is committed to transparency, making it unlikely that a significant development would remain secret. Should the Yellowstone National Park authorities ever decide to close the park, it would signal a serious escalation in volcanic activity. Until then, scientists urge patience and trust in ongoing research and monitoring, preparedness and vigilance. Although predicting the exact timing of a Yellowstone eruption remains challenging, Advancements in technology and data analysis improve the ability to detect early warning signs. Tyson emphasized the importance of continued collaboration among scientists, governments, and communities to minimize risks and enhance preparedness. For now, the Yellowstone volcano serves as a reminder of nature's immense power and humanity's ongoing quest to understand it. Tyson's warning invites reflection not only on the potential devastation of a super eruption, but also on the importance of scientific vigilance in safeguarding our planet. As Tyson eloquently stated, we must respect the power of nature and prepare for the worst, even as we hope for the best. The ongoing research and monitoring efforts by scientists are critical 
to safeguarding humanity against the unpredictable fury of Yellowstone. For now, the park's closure serves as a stark reminder of the Earth's raw power hidden beneath its most beautiful landscapes. What secrets does Yellowstone hold? Only time and science will reveal the answers.